Tonight, federal lawmakers are calling on the FDA to take a closer look at the sunscreen many of us use every day. Hawaii is taking this a step further, banning all sunscreens containing oxybenzone and octanoxate from being sold since the chemicals hurt coral reefs. Now, Florida could be next. News for Jack's consumer investigator Lauren Verno explains what this means for beachgoers next summer. It's sunscreen season all year round in the Sunshine State, but many will admit they don't wear it as much as they should. How often do you wear sunscreen? Uh, like never. Even doctors are guilty. You know, we have a lot of people uh, that still resist sunscreen. I, I do, and I know better. But everyone can agree we all need to wear it which is why some people are not happy that a bill proposed in Florida would require prescriptions for sunscreens containing oxybenzone and octanoxate. That's a little crazy. That's almost, you know, that's going to make almost uh, a lot of people not wear sunscreen, which is bad for your health. So we wanted to find out if these two ingredients would really make an impact when you go to check out. So let's go through some of the ones we have right here. How many of these do you think contain those ingredients? Well, across the board, it's usually about 80%. When we went sunscreen by sunscreen, that number was pretty spot on. So I looked at my own sunscreen bag to see how many of my sunscreens would make the cut. And out of 11, 10 of them contained those two ingredients that would require a prescription. This one right here is even Consumer Reports' number one recommended sunscreen. I mean, our environment is very important, but also our bodies are, are important too, so you have to strike that happy medium. If the bill passes, mineral sunscreens would still be offered over the counter. Those sunscreens usually contain titanium dioxide and zinc oxide, and with a little bit of searching, can be found in most stores. Lauren Verno, Channel 4, The Local Station.